Do not approach me. Do not approach There's a lot of people that we've looked at on this channel that I would consider to be crazy or unhinged, and truthfully, that's because a lot of them have earned that label. There is one specific individual that comes to mind first. Guys, the woke has gone way too far. Okay. Dude, yeah. <laughs> You can't make it up. Okay, no, but today I found a video of a lady in her car losing her mind because a man approached her in public. No, I'm recording this on the day of April Fool's Day, but I've chosen to abstain from this holiday because I think this world we're living in now is always a joke, so. And the clip we're about to watch fully cements that into my head, so let's take a look. And it went fine, and I'm gonna tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. So this guy, I am a, alone with my son, by myself, a woman, and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me, miss, and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably, 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said do not approach me ladies I am begging you watch anything besides these true crime documentaries I mean look what's happening here we have these women who when a man approaches them 30 feet away in a parking lot in broad day they lose their shit they're like do not approach me I'm telling you bro you can only obtain this level of paranoia from binging true crime documentaries non-stop but nah she's saying that she was in this parking lot and this dude was 30 feet away approaching her probably to do one out of a million innocuous things but she's so scared and she's so threatened that after this altercation apparently went down she stayed in the parking lot to record a TikTok. oh yeah yeah yeah, for sure for sure you, you were in such danger that you decided to stay in the dangerous setting i turned around and i literally yelled at him and i said do not approach me and he like immediately started going in the other direction and I just kept saying it over and over and over. I said, do not approach me. Do not approach me. What if you dropped your wallet filled with hundred dollar bills and the dude behind you who was approaching you had your wallet and was trying to return it? I actually hope that's what happened so that way you can literally experience pure karma for being a lunatic in public and beefing with NPCs in a parking lot. It's so funny to think about all the good things this guy could have been trying to do. Ma'am, somebody strapped a C4 to your car. Don't get any closer. Do not approach me. I'm serious. I'm just trying to help. Ma'am, don't move. There's a sniper pointed at you. Do not approach me. All right, all right. I'll leave you be, but don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, there's a C4 strapped to your car. Watching this TikTok really got me feeling like bro on the screen. And like, I understand before anybody says anything. Yeah, it's a chance that this guy actually was a total creep or a psycho. But then in that case, why is she still in the parking lot? All signs lead to this entire story being over-dramatized. Do not approach me. Do not approach me. And he, of course, like, got, like, what the F did it? Like, he started cussing and yelling, like, what, what's your problem? And I, and I looked at him, and he started, he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car. He didn't come anywhere near me. He crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like, what's, con continuing to cuss and say, what's your problem? And I said, you do not approach women in a parking lot. I just kept saying, do not approach me. You do not approach women in a parking lot. Like, yelling it. No male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever ever really ever that's what we're doing here we're gonna use the word ever okay so i get stabbed five times and i'm gonna bleed to death if i don't approach you because you have band-aids my last moments on this planet will be bleeding out in a walmart parking lot if i don't approach you and you're saying even then i can't do that ma'am please i need your help i'm dying do not approach me i think the only way that i'd be able to do that is if i went into walmart and bought some mr beast feastables and told her son that i'd give him some feastables if they ate Aided me medically like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot and that's where the video ends so the moral of the story is to just harass strangers that's what i'm getting here okay if somebody who you don't know is approaching you in broad daylight in a crowded walmart parking lot never assume that they're approaching you for a valid reason you always have to respond by strongly telling them to do not approach you 
The saddest part about this entire thing is she has a young son in this video, and her son's basically gonna grow up with, you know, her as his mother, which is sort of one of those things where if the son comes out and isn't, like, mentally traumatized, it's gonna be, like, proof that there's still hope in the world type of thing. Anyways, I wanna show you this reply slash parody that was made by another TikToker in response to it because it's pretty funny, and, uh, yeah, just take a look. Approached oh by a white woman in the parking, parking lot okay? and survived. I just came back from the parking lot and a white woman approached me and it went well, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. So I'm in this parking lot, right? And the white woman approaches and she's like, she's like 30 feet away from me and I'm with my cat. I'm just, it's me alone by myself, a black man, right? And um, she she's like, excuse me, sir. And I just, I just turn around with the strongest language that I can think of and I just say, hey, do not. Emmett tell me. Do not Emmett tell me. Do not Emmett tell me. And oh my god, I'm shaking. Pretty funny stuff. I appreciate a good parody, and the dude did a pretty good job. So we got a bonus clip here today with some more stupidity. Let's take a look. Leave me alone. Why do you keep following me? It's honestly so uh, creepy, and I'm gonna call the cops. Okay? Man, no, no, no. Because you guys aren't leaving me alone, and that's why women yeah, can't go out in the world by themselves because of guys like you. <laughs> Making the conscious choice to walk up to somebody and then having the audacity, just the gumption to tell them to leave you alone. Yeah, catch me walking up to a group of strangers, getting in their face and their space, and then calling them harassers or something along those lines. Like, bro, you're you're out of line. Okay. Stop you me. you have oh, I, like, just, I, don't, I don't know if you have like a like gas pro you have a thing hanging out of your car what are you talking about there's a literally a gas hose hanging out of your car no one's being creeped oh. bro what how does she have that in her car just driving around with a gas pump in your car not only is that insanely unsafe but I question how that's even possible. Aren't those hoses usually hooked up to a big ass thing at the gas station? Did she just like forget to take it out and she drove away and the thing snapped from the gas station? I have no idea. No thank you, I guess. Thank you, uh, there's the thank you, that's... Uh, oh, she's what? She's taking it with oh, her? Oh, she doesn't have <laughs> Thank you to get all of it. <laughs> wow, dude. <Yikes. laughs> you didn't even close the gas can. The 180 there was crazy. The switch up was nuts. She went up from saying like, oh, this is why women can't feel safe in society. And then she's like, actually, no, no, thank you guys. You clutched up. I made a terrible and severe continuous lapse in my judgment by leaving a gas pump in my car. The moral of the video is not to talk to strangers and not to just trust random people's intentions. But I would say most of the time, if a person says like, hey, hey, like I need you for a second in broad daylight to you and they're a stranger, chances are they're not trying to kidnap you. They're not trying to get you in to their van, they either need help, want to help you, or something else that's totally innocuous. And these people who make TikToks, like schizophrenically freaking out because somebody said hi or looked at them, yeah, they gotta go. But with that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Follow my social medias, links are all down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.